Hi, this will be a tutorial on how to set up the Gravity Appointments plugin to your Gravity Form so you can link up with your Google Calendar. First thing you will need to do is it will go to G Appointment plugin after you already installed. You will go to Services. And after that you have here a list of services. I will add another one. Here. Here you can uh, explain what kind of service this is. I'll just say video test. You can say the range of price that you want to. Here you have three available options. You can set as an interval or the time during 30 minutes or one hour or anything. You can say I'm out of time. You'll be free after the schedule and all that. I also have the custom where you can add the start time and time days available how many people can schedule the same meeting and the price range a to basically uh, the client would uh, schedule in a date of their choosing and try to see if it was available for you for you after you're done everything here you can also add categories to your service Feature days, appointment lead time, you click update. Alright, you add your service. If you go here, you can see here there's a video test with the price and the time of appointment, multiple bookings. Okay, after that, we want to put that in your form mostly, so we go to New form, say video test, and here we start to set up everything. To make it more simple, let's just start with the basics. Let's put a name function, name there, let's put an address. Oh. Let's put an address, let's put an email, let's put then, you don't have to put a phone number, but if you want to put your service on here, you have to go to uh, appointment, booking, then you say booking services, here you can just change here to service name also here you can always just say required so the person has to fill this form to move on all right here service name you can say which provider you want to put it as well uh, that this goes along with the service you can also schedule here on providers and then you put the booking calendar I just call this calendar and let's remove this one since we're not going to use it all right pretty good let's make this required all right now let's update just so that we have saved and here on form on G appointment, we're gonna try to go here. So all services available. Here you can specify your <coughs> personal choosing. After all of this is done, you can specify everything. You're gonna update the form settings. Now, if you go to make a new page, let's call this video test, and I want to add my form. My form is video test, so I'm going to insert it, and then after that, I'm going to publish, publish it. Alright, I have it here ready. 
I'm going to go to the page. Cool, I have it here already, but I don't, I didn't specify any service, so the only service available would be in white. Let's go back a bit. So, that would be all good, but it's not linked to your account yet. If you want to link to your account, to your Google Calendar, to schedule all the meetings, you have to go to Geoappointments, Settings. Then you go to Google Calendar, ID and Client Secret, for you to use in your Google Calendar. You have to go to the console developers using your account and then go to API library that you can see here, library. Here, selecting a project, you can create one or select one. You're going to search for calendar, Google Calendar API. After here, you're going to enable it. Here, after that, you're going to go to credentials. It's going to go ask you to configure. You're going to go here. As far as principle, you just have to give it a name. I'm going to say <coughs> G Calendar. All right? After that, you just have to save. It's going to ask you to create credentials. You choose the second option to create the client ID. And choose out other. You can either put this one or just clients. And here is going to give you the client ID and client secret. You're going to copy both. And paste it here. I'm going to copy the other one. I'm going to paste it here. Cool. After that, you're going to click this button. This is just going to ask you to make a login in your account. Nothing big. It's, uh, it's going to Google automatically is going to try to block it, so you just have to uh, trespass that. It's going to ask you to see, edit, and share everything in your Google account related to that this website. You're just going to allow it, and then here is your code. After this access code, you're going to put it here. And then, when you're done with that, you can't select an account yet. You're going to save settings. It automatically links to your account. So, after I fill everything here, and I select one date here, automatically. In my calendar, it's going to appear an event telling me the name, if I want to, the address, email, and service test. So, uh, now that if you want to personalize your email uh, that, that you receive and your client receive, you can just go to settings on the G appointment, go to not notifications. You go down here, you have the pending email, have the client confirmation email, have the appointment cancel email, and everything to, for the provider too. Alright. And that's about it. I hope you all enjoyed and good luck with your website.